Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, it would be much appreciated. Thank you. I'll take you a second. But what I want to talk to you about today is having problems with downloading your work from Canva and getting that failed message because your download hasn't completed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through a, a little checklist because if it's not happened to you yet, there's every chance it will happen to you anyway. And it can be a real pain because let's just say, for instance, you've created 100 pages and you can't download it. No matter what you do, you, you, you're looking at it and you try to download it and all of a sudden you're waiting for ages, failed. You're now trying to download it as a PDF, failed. And there's nothing worse. You get this message and it's horrible because you try it again, failed. And it seems no matter what you do, you try again another half an hour, failed. So you start to think you're going to have to produce all that work again. Well, that might not be the case, and the chances are it won't be the case. So we're going to try a few different things. I'm going to run through a bit of a checklist here. And this is what I do. And it happens to me uh, more often than, than I care to mention. But uh, it only happened to me yesterday, which is what prompted me to create this video. So look at one. If you are using a virtual private network or VPN, switch that off, give that a try, and then try it again. That can interfere, that can block certain things with the internet. Two, close Canva and the browser and reopen them. So don't close down your computer on this one, just close, save your work, close Canva and the browser and reopen it again. Don't open any other apps, just Canva and uh, try again. Three, shut everything down. Close, close all your apps, close all your, uh, whatever you've got working, close it all down and shut down your computer. Give it a few minutes and reboot your computer. Open Canva on your internet browser and only Canva and try downloading again. Now, if you open other apps with it, it's draining, it's drawing from your computer. It could be interfering with the download. And that's why it's worth checking these things out first. Four, try downloading at quiet times. Now, we're going through this checklist because we're going to hit the hardest one or the one that you really don't want to do, because it takes too much time. I mean, it's okay, but it takes too much time. But it's a last resort, and it works. So anyway, so try downloading at quiet times. And you know the quiet times uh, for your browser in your, in your area. So it could be 2 o'clock in the morning. But if you're that desperate to get the work done and it, you're finding that it's not working, you've tried all these other things, it's not working any other time, then hit the quiet time and only open Canva again and try again. You'll be surprised, hopefully. Five, try opening Canva in a different browser. Now, you could do these in, do these in any order you like, but I mean, I'm just giving you some some ideas here. So you're having problems trying to download it in, say, Chrome. So open Bing or something else um, and look for Canva. Open your app and try again in a different browser. And it can actually work because you've got that much, it's that much stuff in the cache, in the history, in the memory of the, the browser you're using that it can interfere with your download. Six, reboot your hub or router. Go to the plug, unplug it, and plug it back in again, and see if that makes any difference. It can, believe it or not, because that can get clogged up as well. Now we get on to the drastic measures. Clearing the browser's cache and cookies. So when, we, when you clear the browser, 
browser's cache and all the cookies, you, you'll be able to find it on your particular browser. Do a search on the internet for clearing the cache and cookies on your particular browser. And But when you do that, you lose all your um, logins and your uh, passwords for whatever else. You know, obviously, you know your passwords. But instead of just going to, say, Facebook and it opening, you're now going to have to log in once you clear all that. And it can be a bit of a pain, you know. So that's not, that's not a great one. But if you don't mind doing that and you don't like keeping passwords or uh, going to be uh, going to Twitter saying it automatically opening without you logging in, uh, then that's fine. But it's an option and it can be part of the problem. Lastly, in the drastic measures, now these are just things I'm going through. Now, if you've got any ideas how to fix that problem without using any of these, Put them in the comments because it will help other people and it might help me. So download everything in a PNG. What I mean by that is you're, you're trying to download, say, 50 or 20 or 100 or whatever it is, pages in your project. And it could be valuable, but it's, it's going to be valuable. You've done it anyway. It's going to be valuable to you. So it's not letting you have it. You've tried everything you can. OK, what I've got here is an example. I've just done five images of people stressed out <laughs> well, this is the project this is an example of what your project may be maybe 100 pages of text or whatever i'm just giving you an example of what we're going to do here and it's not letting me download it so now i have to do this go to share download png all five make sure that's all switched all five pages here it also could be however whatever number download You've got more of a chance of that downloading than you have something that's going to take a long time. Because sometimes if there's a hundred pages of of heavy graphic content like these, like this images, these images, it could be a gigabyte in size. That's going to take some time. And lots of things can interfere with your download in that time. So that can be part of the problem. And you're not going to get around that so easily. And it's the same when you upload to um, Amazon's KDP. The bigger the file, the longer it takes to upload, the more chances you've got of a failure and having to um, try again. And when it comes to Amazon's KDP, you, you may as well go through all these again on Amazon's KDP and try to catch it at the right time if you're using such a big file or if you're having a problem with any file, really. OK, so that's complete. And it's done it as a zip file. And here are all the images. So we're going to save all these to a file. Copy these and drop them into a new file. Paste. Now you can unzip a zip file from wherever it is in your downloads. Just click extract all and um, to whatever file you want. But I just do it that way sometimes, it's quite easy. Right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open a new template. The size of this is 8.625 by 11.25 so we're going to create another one of those so we go to home create a new design custom size and that was the size i used there so i'll just click on that you might have to type it in yourself we're going to have to create as many pages this is why i say it's a drastic one because it can take some time but it may be the only way around the only way around you saving your work so now what we do is we have to upload all the images in just the, the uploads bar or we drag and drop them from the file or we add this to a folder and add the images to the folder and get them from there however you want to do it we want to get those images that we've just downloaded into each of these pages so for the sake of this video i'm just going to drag them and stretch them to each corner we know they're going to fit because it's, it's the size that we had for the others. We can set them as background images if you wanted to. But what, you ha what happens then is you lose some of your image. So if you've got text or because it stretches it past the actual frame, the actual canvas. So if you, as long as you've not got margins that are tight and your text is end up going to end up outside, you know, it's going to get knocked back in uh, KDP and there's nothing really in the way, then yeah, do that. Just drag them over and, and they'll, they'll fill the background as a, as a background. 
Uh, but if you've got things and you want to keep all the information you can, or as much of it as you can, within each page, then let me just detach that from the back, then just stretch it. Slowly stretch it from corner to corner, and do that for each of them. So yeah, it can be pretty boring. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pretend that I've just done that with these five. And now we can download it as a PDF from a file that may have been a gigabyte in size or massive anyway. Um, you've now got a smaller file because all the information, all the little bits that you may have put on a page is now in an image and none of it can be moved. It's much easier. And there could have been a problem with something that you'd put on your page. There could have been something wrong with the file. Maybe you've imported an image that you wanted to use in your um, project and it's corrupt in some way and that's why you can't get the download. So, I mean, that's a, that's a possibility. So this way you end up with a smaller file. Now if you find your file is still huge and that could be part of the problem. It's taking forever to get up there and lots of things can interfere with it in that time or you may just time out on something then I use a program called I Love PDF now they've got an online version it's free I have the premium version um, like I don't I'm not selling affiliate links or anything like that so go and search for it so but you want the best quality you can you want to try and retain as much of the quality you don't want it compressed to nothing because when it goes to, to a book it could look bad so i use this so i'll go to the file open that file i'll go to compress pdf here and extreme compression recommended compression so it's good quality and good compression and i use this one i always use this one less compression high quality i click that and compress that's that done and it's gone from 22 megabytes for that example i just gave you there so 22 0.18 megabytes to 2.9 megabytes that's a huge difference and you'd be hard pressed really really hard pressed to tell any difference between the original and that one and that's what i do and i have no problem that's cookbooks um, kids books all kinds of things and uh, yeah so that's it